up and I went to the thrift store and I decided you know it'd be a really good idea to make clothes for myself why why would I do that I can just buy clothes online or you know maybe go to a store and like just get clothes that I already made but here's the issue for me I have braces that I wear not not talking about these bad boys I'm talking about the knee the ankle the wrists the hip I've noticed that there aren't really any clothes that hide your braces now I get it. Don't be afraid to be like authentically you and just really embrace yourself. You're beautiful no matter what. Okay, cool. That is true. But also sometimes braces are a real, you know, buzzkill. You know, you, you, you got a cute outfit on and then you gotta either put braces on over them because they might be too tight or you gotta put the braces underneath them but then you can see the braces through your clothing. So I thought, you know what, let's make clothes to fit my braces. I am not a fashionista. I do not know what I'm doing. I do not know how to sew. I do not know how to do anything. But I thought I would get up and go to a thrift store and buy some cheaper clothes that I can tear up and probably ruin and never wear because I, I ruined them because I don't know what I'm doing. If you didn't already know, I don't know what I'm doing. If I didn't already mention that, I, I don't know what I'm doing. Let me show you what I got. First things first, I bought this Adidas shirt. It's like cute or whatever. I mainly bought it because the sleeves are so long and I have really long arms, really long legs. It's hard to find pants that fit me but are long enough and it's hard to find shirts that fit me but the sleeves are long enough. Half the time I end up walking around with my sleeves rolled up like this because that's the only way I don't look stupid. I mean, there are, other, there are many other ways I look stupid, but like, I'm just trying to, you know, make one less way that I look stupid. <sighs> then I bought this shirt. This is gonna be the shirt we're using for some fabric. I like this white lacy stuff. You just wait, I got some ideas ticking around in there. I got these mom shorts. Obviously these aren't gonna be hiding any braces because they're shorts. But I just thought they were cute, and so I bought them anyway. Irrelevant to the haul. Last thing I bought were some jeans. And they're um, a size too big, so we're gonna have to fix that. But I bought them because I can pull them up to be like high-waisted. The legs, long enough, more than long enough. That's why I can make them high-waisted, and it won't look like I am an idiot. So let me tell you what I'm envisioning, okay? I have two wrist braces. And one is more for like, you'd see if someone had carpal tunnel, but I like those braces because it gives me support on like either side. Then I have one brace um, that's for my left breast and that one's more of like a, when I'm working out, <laughs> like I work out. If I was to work out, that would be the brace I would use. Sometimes I need those braces. Another brace I have is a knee brace. Another brace I have is an ankle brace. I have two ankle braces. Here's what I'm envisioning, okay? For the shirt, I'm thinking, okay, because the sleeves are long enough, they'll cover the braces, all right? And all I really need to do is I might cut some like thumb holes in it so that I can like, you know, it would really cover the brace. And then most people would be like, okay, well, there you go. That shirt covers your braces, but that's lame. That is, we don't do anything. So I'm thinking maybe we add some more pizzazz. I'm not quite sure what we're gonna do yet, but we're gonna need to add something, maybe like a nice little pocket or my inhaler or something, I don't know. Then for the jeans, these are shorts. We're gonna bring them up to around my waist, cinch them so they fit my waist. Then I made sure the legs are big enough. These aren't skinny jeans, obviously. I love to rock a good skinny jean. These are big enough where you couldn't really see my brace so I could wear it underneath the brace. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a bunch of rips in, the rips? I'm gonna put a bunch of rips in these jeans and then we're going to, with the rips, behind the rips, we're gonna use this fabric and we're gonna like put it behind the rips so that you can't see the knee brace. But it's just something to add a little pizzazz. And then I found these shoelaces and I wanna do something with them. What am I gonna do? 
I don't know. These pants are long enough to where they will cover my ankle braces. But here's the catch. Some of the only shoes I can wear with my ankle braces are like my Doc Martin knockoffs. And you can't be wearing those with these. That just looks wrong and it should be illegal. So what I'm thinking is, I've seen this on other jeans before, where at the bottom they like put laces in them. People usually do it like on the sides. So we might be doing some of that so that I can like cinch them at the bottom and then I can like put boots on and it won't look as stupid. I'm hoping. Let's get down to business. I'm gonna go put this on and show you what it looks like. Okay. <coughs> Here's the shirt. This is pretty much all that is to it. I'm gonna take this Sharpie. I'm gonna mark where my thumb should be. Put a little dot, because that's where I think my thumb should be. Another little dot, because that's the technique I'm using. Time to do some snipping. Cut the thumb holes, not a very difficult task at all. Oh, and now we're gonna crop it so I can be more trendy. Let's try something, let's move the camera. Okay, now you can actually see me and, and see what I'm doing. It's cropped. Hello pants. This one is the more challenging one. I'm gonna put these on and then we're gonna, we're gonna talk about it. We're gonna talk through it. So, here I go. <sighs> so I had the jeans on. Let me give you a tour. As you see, jeans are about a um, size too big. But I'm thinking if we just, like if I had a belt on, it would just, it would just belt nicely. Also, you can't really see this. They're pretty long. I look like I have tree trunks for legs. These are really long and I'm not a short gal. Let's open this sewing kit that my mom has, shall we? Let's just get, let's just, let's just get, let's just get right in, right into it. <laughs> tool that and we're going to use this to pull out the threads in my jeans to make them look really ripped i don't know if this is what it's for but it's what we're going to use it for today <laughs> fray these rips so this is about as good as that's gonna get now we are going to we're gonna cut the bottoms bold and wild i know so that they don't look the way they do <laughs> we're going to put the fabric behind the tears and at first i'm going to use fabric glue except i don't know where the fabric glue is so we're going to sew it okay let's get to freaking sewing I just did one to two stitches 
on each corner of the cloth. So it's literally hanging on by a thread. Now, here's where I envision the laces. The laces, I want them to be like up the side, you know? Yeah, that's what I want them to be. Okay, there's nothing more I have to say about that. <laughs> because obviously it's just I cut thumb holes into it and I cropped it so I wasn't expecting anything terrible from that but the pants Woo, the pants are the worst thing I've I have ever seen and the worst thing I've ever put on my body let me show you what they look like wow <laughs> here they are lace one <laughs> Lace two, holy crap. These are meant to be to cover braces in a stylish way. Obviously, we didn't get the stylish part covered because I did a terrible job, but let's see if they actually do hide my braces. So I'm gonna go put on my braces and then we'll put it to the final test. So I have my braces on, I have my ankle braces and boots, I have my knee brace, and I have a one wrist brace on because I couldn't find the other wrist brace. This is obviously the arm with the wrist brace, you can still kind of see it, but like honestly, not bad. My knee brace. You can't see that boy at all. If I was walking by, you might be like, what is that girl wearing? But you wouldn't be like, oh, why does that girl have a knee brace? Then, for the ankles. This looks terrible. That's bad. Can you see my ankle braces? No. Does it look good? No. Maybe if someone who knew what they were doing did this, it could turn out pretty cute. You don't have to make any of these yourself. You can go out and buy these pre-made, but I just thought it'd be kind of a fun little quirky video to see if I had what it takes, and I do not. So now I know that I am never meant to make clothing ever, ever in my life. Just a disclaimer, I get that not everyone can hide their braces. Not everyone wants to hide their braces. Totally get it. Just this is for the days where you're wearing those braces that you can cover up. Like a neck brace is something that would be harder to cover up than you know a wrist brace or a knee brace. Totally get it. I'm not saying you have to cover up your braces. This is just me trying to think about how clothing could work around people not only that just have braces but maybe people that have like feeding tubes or you know whatnot that goes with any illness not just eds so this was me just kind of working the old noggin and seeing what i'd come up with so just wanted to put that out there i hope you enjoyed this garbage of a video as always like comment subscribe and hit that notification bell i'm posting whenever i want always at least once a week. Stay hydrated and I'll see you when I see ya. Bye.